Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV Episode Duske. Today, we sneak up on a behemoth. Let's see what we got here. How am I going to wake this guy up? If I get close enough, is he just going to wake up? Or do I have to run over there and smack him in the face? No, he's just going to wake up. Alrighty, we out of here. Charged. Oh god. Oh god. Over here. It's time. I got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, up to going for it. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! We got some real chemistry here. That's what I call teamwork. Impeccable. Where are my subtitles? This is no time for a nap. Not! Oh, get ready for the big one! All right, so maybe this won't be as easy as I thought. Dead eye cannot see out of his right eye. Use his blind spot to your advantage. The size of him. I shall. How do we take him on? Carefully. One mistake could be our last. Ouch. Up and at it. Let's uh. Where is a good place to warp to? Right there. Let's get out of the public eye. And by public eye, I mean really far away from him. I want to right there. Oh god! Dude. You kick the crap out of me, I'm gonna be in severe pain. Dude! Let me get up! Give me a potion or something. Nice, bro. Alrighty. Okay. I keep pressing circle to dodge like a playing Type Zero. I keep complaining about it too. Maybe. Maybe we are. Uh, I need a warp point in order to warp, guys. Uh, let me warp somewhere. Jesus Christ! Knocked. Get a move on. Start running, Noctis. He's like, literally, like right there. Oh my God. He's kind of prowling now. No, no, okay, no, he's not. He was prowling. That frame rate, though. All present and accounted for. He's gonna bust through the rocks, isn't he? Man, we should have just finished the last episode of this. I thought that was going to be the full-on boss fight. Maybe I'll splice it in. Who knows? But, uh... Where are we going? Over here? Cool. That was exciting. The boss is, uh, very... Tense, like boss situations, and they're just Behemoth is literally just stepping on you because he doesn't care because he does that much damage. Like that's intimidating. I like that. Knock over here. Yeah. I like it when you can feel the growth of your characters just by how easy or hard a boss fight is, especially if it's something you can't overcome right away, and then come back to and then just destroy. But also, I like it when you don't can't just destroy something. Even if you are pretty strong. So are they like... Are those subtitles like something I can't hear that they're saying? Or what? I would like to take a rest before I... get anything. Spar with Gladio. I really want to see what sparring with Gladio does. Let's find out. 
It's probably just a tutorial, right? All out. Just don't get too carried away. You don't want to talk. Apparently not. That time I used my Zwei Hander. But I haven't changed my, uh, what you call it at all? Weapon arrangement. Ouch. Jerk. I wonder if there's, like, maybe there's an achievement or a trophy for beating him in a sparring match or something. Call me that from now on. I don't know. Not right now. At least we know what that does, not just a tutorial. I'll probably take him on in my own time or something. Let's, uh, actually camp it's now. Bedtime. Sounds good. Nice music. Good dish. Dry aged tender roast stew. Man, I'm hungry. I need to go eat after this. Give me all of the levels. So delicious. Noct is still under level compared to... I, see, that's the thing I hate. I hate it when all the party members are different levels. Sharp increases critical hit rate. Cool. I like it when... You just do the thing. Or uh, do the thing. So that's what that's what I say when I forget what I was saying half through my sentence. I like it when all of my characters oh, are on an equal level. Like I'm the kind of person who, if a party member dies in a boss fight and you get a ton of XP, then I'll redo the boss fight and make sure they don't die this time. There's some gadgets over there, but we'll leave them alone. I think we've done enough random battles for now. I want to go kill or not kill. I want to go see people at the outpost. Hashtag murderous tendencies, hashtag Freudian slip. Jesus, knock. I was gonna say nocturne. Jesus, knock. You can't run very far at all. Why are you doing this? I hope they either. Like, I. I know they're trying to go for realism. So he should get tired at some point. But I feel like he should get tired once you stop sprinting, and they shouldn't just interrupt your sprint. You should get unlimited sprint until you stop. Or you make like a big turn. If I do this 180, you should get tired right now. And I really don't want to fight you guys, so later. But it just, it interrupts everything. Like, especially since I don't have the car and I can't ride chocobos, so like my only method of getting around is walking. I really wish they didn't interrupt my dash all the time. I wonder if there's like a stat boost you can get from eating that'll make it so you can sprint longer. That'd be nice. Oh, but, uh... God oh, damn it. No, oh, thanks. Chocobo! Okay. What I wanted to do, since I wanted to do it last episode, but didn't get to, is I wanted to learn about the Amage. Special heirlooms hidden in Duske give you the power to call from the Amage. The Armager, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Armager, Armager, is available in combat once you're at full MP and consumes MP, da, 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 da. Press L1 one hit to, like, take no damage, that's cool. But, so those would be the Phantom Swords, and apparently I don't have access to them yet. So that's what they meant. When the uh, Tabata-san was talking about the demo, he said, like, oh, you can go find the Phantom Swords and stuff. I assume that meant, like, there was a second form of the Phantom Swords you could pick up and find. But I guess he meant literally you have to go find the Phantom Swords. Which is fine. We just don't have access to it right away. Phoenix down? Is it dangerous? Dragon skills. Around here? Most likely. We best ponder our lodgings as we go. Well, Focus. we're doing fine on camping. Really don't want to fight you guys, so later. This is the Chocobo outpost, looks like we're going to. We've already been there, but hey, we can always listen to the Chocobo theme some more. Ha <laughs> ha! Still not sure if I like it or not. I have to listen to it. Once we get there, I'll shut up for a second so we can listen to it again. The more I listen to it, the more 
solid my opinion becomes, obviously. But for me, it happens pretty fast. And it can flip-flop, but let's see what my initial reaction is once I formed an opinion. No mistake in the smell of chocobos. Indeed. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. I guess it's just going to be one of those things that I never form a solid stance on. I gather you're all taking in sights. You can say that. Not to take in on these parts, but you'll steer clear of that cave nearby. If no one's good for you. Wouldn't want that to be the last sight you see. Dude, I summon swords and grab. But uh, thanks for letting me know about Cool Cave. I'm sure you're disappointed. What's best for the birds is best for the riders. And you probably don't have anything worth buying, Till so later. Time. Okay, so where's my next quest? Way over there? What the hell? What is this quest for? Oh, the cavern. So the, the thing is about this uh, quest here to get the gill is you don't need to go kill Behemoth in order to get this gill. You can just hunt regular monsters and get enough gill. But it'll probably take 10 years, so... Mm. Yeah, let's, let's go do the cave. We'll probably get some levels through that, and then we can camp, and then we'll go kill Behemoth. Although, now I think about it, this cave is probably way too strong for me. I remember when they were showing this, if this is the cave that I'm thinking of, then when they showed this off, they were like level 40 something. So we might get destroyed. But we could also take a look just for the hell of it. There's a road! I thought the premise was that, to this demo was that there were no paved roads. It was all like back roads or something. Whatever. Just don't question the man behind the curtain. Don't question Tabata-san, lest this game be in limbo for another nine years. He'll do it, he's crazy. Yeah, this is definitely the cave they showed off in the demo. I recognize the scenery around here. So, I'm trying to decide if it's worth going right now. And, like, I just want to do it just because it's a challenge to myself. Even though I am clearly not good enough at this game to do stuff that I'm under level for. But I, I want to do it anyways. So we're going to try. And even if I die, you know, whatever, we're just going to get sent back to the last checkpoint. I wonder if that'll be the full penalty for death in the full game. It's just being sent back to the checkpoint. I don't want to fight you guys, so cool. Uh, it was nice seeing you. But I'm going to be over here now. Oh. Uh, I saw a butterfly and thought it was a blue orb, item orb thingy. It was clearly not. Do you think this does? I don't know. Looks a little sketchy to me. No, it looks fine, dude. Sketchy to me. Bad idea. It's fine. It's fine. This is a checkpoint. If we're defeated, we'll end up right here. So if we die, nothing gained, nothing lost. And then we'll just leave. You in the dark. Uh, we're drifting into the deep end. See, even that line sounds better than it was in the trailer. Wow. Cool How bats. Can I always end up in these situations. We must be prepared for anything. Everybody, stay alert. This is a way bigger cave than I was led to believe. Hey, Items. knock. Check this out. Where? Where the hell are you? Is that you? No, it's Ignis. Wah! What do you want? Oh, you found the thing that I was already at. Cool. Like, I thought Not the uh. teammates uh, pointing out uh, optional stuff was a cool idea. But if they're just going to point it out after I've already seen it, then whatever. Uh, I squeeze. Yeah, shut up, muscle man. 
might just make it through. Maybe she just lose some weight. Noctis, ever the silent type. I do appreciate the, uh, con uh, the, 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 the what you call it, condensed breath. I don't know when you're breathing and it what? turns Where? all foggy because it's cold. I didn't need to see that. Focus. I don't know. You guys are having a party. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice battle theme. This is the night battle theme, I think. Get around. These guys aren't so tough. But just for the hell of it, how about we switch up our weapons again? Let's put. Mm, we'll put this Y hander here. And. Uh, put the blood sword here. As Akasiro? Wait, so we do have it? All's well that Weird. Ends well. I couldn't well, do it before. It's R1. Let me see that. It's R1L1, right? Activate? Pretty sure. Maybe it was R2L2. I'm doing both right now. It's not happening. But I guess it's because we're not in a battle. Man, I love crawling through tunnels in a cave. That makes me feel totally comfortable. Don't say that to me. Probably something horrible up there. Hey, I see a light. That's cool. And there's a goblin. Can I turn off my flashlight so they don't see me? Makes sense. Just looking at him. Stop bitching. Start killing. Oh. oh my god, there's a lot of you. I'm just gonna jump here. And you you guys you guys can get all the way out of my way. I really don't want to deal with you right now. Ow, he hit me mid attack. That sucks. You guys want to help me out? That'd be cool of you. Help me out? I don't want to use a potion if I don't have to. Thank you. No! Okay, I got the parry, but I didn't hit the button, so I'm dumb. This is getting a little hectic for me now. Am I poisoned? No, we good. What did I Oh, because he has low HP. Like, why did I randomly do a vanquish attack? Later, loser. Well, that was a little dicey for a second there, but we're all good now. Can I, like, jump off of this? That'd be cool. I doubt it. Nah. There's water there. Maybe if they were swimming, they would let me jump off. But you never know. It never ends. Ow, oh, jeez. I hate you. There's another one? Where'd you come from? Oh, we got a twofer, so it's fine. 238% bonus experience. Jeez, what is that for? Is Noctis cold, or what is he doing here? I mean, you can tell by his breath it's pretty cold, so I guess that's why he keeps doing the shivery thing. Oh my Jesus Christ. I don't usually get jump scared in video games, but that got me for some reason. It wasn't even that scary of a jump scare. But I make no excuses for getting the hands scared off me. Nothing to it. 
Jesus, help me. I keep invoking your name. Be my spirit animal. Oh, hello, guys. How's it going? Damn it, I pressed squared. He stole it? I thought that was like a poison punch or something. Yo, they're drinking the potions. That's pretty cool. I like that. I hate you so much. You no idea. I missed. The counterattack for the sword is not as fast as I thought it would be. I am so lost right now. We might not be able to finish this cave in one video. Not a dead end, at least. Oh, we just dropped down. Oh man. I ran in a circle. So, uh, can I go backwards? No. I'll go this way this time. There's a blue item orb. Oh, I had a feeling that something was going to creep up on me. I didn't expect it to be true. Alright, cool. No muss, no fuss. Later, Nothing to it. jerks. All in a day's work. Alright, how am I supposed to get over there? Maybe this way. We can slip through. Another crevice. Lovely. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Get the hell away from me. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. We got the parry. I'd really love it if you guys weren't totally in my way. I cannot dash for people. This is important information. There are way more in your view than I thought there was. Sorry. Good lord, there's a lot of goblins. The frame rate cannot keep up with this. Oh, the bank should kill him. Oh. Oh. Okay, you got him. You got him. Ignis is all, it's all good. I'm focusing so hard right now. Jerk. On the bright side, we're getting a handle on the combat. Well, we, I am. Jesus, there's so many of you. Alright, screw this. Give me one of them potions. Good God, there's a billion of you. <laughs> Did they just throw a bunch of rocks at me until I died? It was like magic rocks, though. Stop kicking people in the face and help me. If you yell at the computer enough, it'll do it. They need a better loop for the battle team. It feels like it keeps hitting its end point and then resetting. Just, just extend that out. Probably not necessary, Tempest. In fact, it definitely was, but hey. Loser. Right 
All right, we good. We good. We killed like twenty thousand goblins. How come I didn't get bonus XP for that? Probably because we died. Well, if we can, I'd like to finish this cave before the video's over. Yo, what the hell is that? Ancient blade. Be cool if it. No. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say it'd be cool if it disappeared from the environment once I got it. The armager. Armager can be activated in combat when at full MP. Attributes are significantly enhanced when it is active. So, that'll help us kill the behemoth. Slow down a sec. Oh, god damn it. I'm trying to prepare for the behemoth, not find something worse. Why are you running ahead? You're scared. It's not letting me dash, otherwise I would be dashing right now. There we go. Get out of the... Get out of the way! I'm doing a thing! Where the hell did Prompto go? Hello. Are you okay? Hey, I can't hear you. That's it. I quit. What the hell are we doing here? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Snakes. Thing tried to drag me. Ah! How do you snakes? Gotcha. Oh god. I can't hear you. This way. Press and cut, there you go. I tried to do that on the other guy, but I didn't want to. Ooh, no thank you. Really don't want to be here right now. There's a lot of guys. Why are there so many goblins? Train some of my HP back. Dodge out of the way. My whole life flashed before my eyes. Ouch. Crap, I missed. Because I'm bad. Mad because bad. Full thrust! Missed again. I thought he didn't die. Later. Right. All right. Sorry for the poor commentary during fights, but they're starting to get a little bit crazy. Dude, come on. Oh, why did it change twice on me, even though I only pressed once? I don't know that I want to keep fighting all these goblins all the damn time. It doesn't help that there's a billion of you. At least you're not that hard to kill. I'm trying to warp to whatever that warp point is that they're showing me. Not letting me know. Kill you. Next. Kill you. Oh no. I wasn't watching my MP. It's all good. It's all good. Any more dudes? There's one. Cool. None the worse for wear. I assume we find all the other phantom swords in here, right? What is this place? Well, well. 
Sure, it looks pretty. I'd take a screenshot of this if I wasn't recording. I'm not entirely sure what that was. Assimilated a new astral power. Ramu will bestow his grace on Noctis when his HP is zero. Common enemies defeated by Ramu do not provide items or EXP in episode Duske. Uh, I guess that's all there is to see here, so let's bail out of the cavern. Dude. Dude. <laughs> That's, that is a good place to end off. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV Episode Duske, probably smite Behemoth with the power of Ramu. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, leave a comment, send it to a friend, spread the word around. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!